In rooms, there are many times where you will want to toggle between two states of a thing. The most common example of that is going to be having a light on or off. So let's take a look at how that works. In my scene here, I have a light and what I want to do is when I click on the light, I want to either turn it on or turn it off depending upon its current state. So let's go ahead and click into the light and see what sort of code we have going on. So right now, all I have is an on start function that has the light turned off. Now, in order to get it to switch back and forth, we need a variable and we'll call that on and we'll set it equal to true. And the idea behind this is we will just switch between true and false in order to turn the light on or off. Next, we'll do the on click function. So function on click. And then we really have to think about how do we get this to work? So the enable light method is what you would normally use to turn on a light. And if true is inside the parentheses or a variable that represents true, then the light would be enabled. However, if the variable inside of the parentheses is false, then the light would not be enabled. So in this case, we could just put the on variable in the parentheses because we will be switching it back and forth. Now, the back and forth option is you just say on is equal to not on. And what this does is it just switches it. If it's false, it becomes true. And if it's true, it becomes false. And then, oh, and then we can just end the function. And then let's see if it works. And so we go into play mode, the light is off. And then when we click it, it turns on and we click it again and it turns off, on, off, on, off. Now, there are a lot of other instances where this concept can be utilized. They're a little bit more complicated because there isn't always an enable something feature, but this idea of having a true and false determine on or off or active or inactive really lays the groundwork for some cool things moving forward.